G'day everybody, Blue here. Welcome back to our playthrough of Dinkum episode 321. Hope you guys are doing well. Now, previous episode, uh, a few things happened, but I would say that the main highlight of the episode was uh, actually getting a hold of the coveted frying pan which we then subsequently used to bash a whole bunch of turkeys out there. A uh, pretty violent episode if you ask me. But uh, in today's episode we're probably going to focus a little bit more on trying to find ourselves some keys uh, and discs uh, with the hopes uh, of, you know, obviously being able to go into the deep mines sometime soon, but uh, also, I'm sort of hoping that there's more to Franklin than just the Ute in this update, but I highly doubt it. But you know what? Having some extra discs uh, for Franklin isn't so bad uh, for, you know, the purposes of times like these, really, where uh, an update does happen and, uh, uh, you know, we when we so happen to have some discs on hand, we can immediately unlock stuff. But, uh, yeah, uh, so that's the plan. There's a few bits and pieces that I do also want to try and do uh, during uh, this episode. One is I want to hopefully go see Melvin. I feel like it's been ages since we've uh, actually seen Melvin in his shop. Uh, so I sort of want to just check out what he has to offer. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully there's some good stuff that we can buy, particularly for the uh, the holiday house that we have going. Uh, I mean, we did go there the other day with a few things in hand to try and decorate, and it is coming along. Uh, I would like some wardrobes though, so that we can put some clothes in there. I, I assume wardrobes just act as uh, normal storage though, so I assume it's okay to put other types of things in there, not just clothes, but I could be completely wrong. I haven't exactly tested uh, whether or not the wardrobes uh, can actually take anything else aside from uh, some, uh, from clothes, so... Uh, but anyway, we could test it out, but yeah, I primarily just want like the wardrobes to be there because we can pretend like it's a place that is lived in, you know? Um, I think any any home should have a good wardrobe in it. Um, but anyway, uh, let's do what we need to do here at the farm. Obviously, I've already just started and trying to get things done as quick as possible. Cherry Road looks like uh, it needs a bit of a, a tidy up. Uh, definitely cherries are ready for harvest, it seems. Uh, there's flowers everywhere in the Bloom and Spring update, apparently. <laughs> so, uh, we've got flower overload in every single corner. Not a bad thing, I suppose. Um, let's see, we've got our raw drumsticks in hand. We should be able to, uh, you know, use these for the crab pots and also to feed the boys. A um, nice couple of additional keys there. That's very good to see. Uh, and yeah, with any luck, perhaps maybe we might find the necessary keys today to go into the undergrove for a bit of a an explore for all of that baconium that we seem to not ever really have much luck with. Um, all right, one for you, and where is your brother? There you go, mate. And... Let's actually stash all of these here. Chuck the Kwandongs down. There we go. Alright. Looking good. And let's farm a little bit more. Uh, that's the wrong animal. Ah, there he is. Right in the corner. Good, good. All right. Uh, I think that's it for the farm, right? So, uh, I suppose there is one more thing. Uh, Ed the Sixth needs to join the family at some point. So, we should be thinking about 
uh, maybe going to see Erwin as well. Uh, maybe on the way back. Uh, but anyway, I think it's time to go. Let's uh, maybe use a heli because we do want to go to Blue Ruru and do some work there. Uh, and yeah, this should speed up the process really. Alright. Now, uh, it is only 10 o'clock, so we can't exactly go and see um, rain right now. Uh, I completely forgot to place the dirt printer away last night, did I? Um, so, yeah, unfortunately we're gonna have to wait a little bit. The frying pan, I'm not entirely sure where we should keep the frying pan safe. Um, you know, as much as I like the frying pan, it's not the most useful tool. So it is sort of clogging up the inventory a little bit. Um, let's maybe drop some teas and uh, should be able to brew some more wattle brews. Alright. Uh, actually, we can also drop some wheat while we're here. Good. Um, and yeah, I guess we just need to drop some of our ingredients away here. Got a few things that we could sell to John. Not really in a hurry to do it though. So the pan, I think maybe we'll just secure the pan in this uh, crate. And yeah, if we ever need it, we know where it is. Um, just bringing the diving helmet with us as well, because as I said, we do want uh, to be able to get some more treasures today. Speaking of, let's stash the keys away. We're at 18 keys actually, so we don't really need a lot to then make it into the undergrove again. So, uh, Spanner in the works though is the, uh, the printer, which I failed to recharge last night. So, <laughs> we're gonna have to wait a little bit on that front. Let's go to Melvin's. And let's check out what he has to offer. I've never seen a pink table before. Not exactly something that I really want. A wooden table. It's gigantic, isn't it? I'm not sure if that's the right one for us. Uh, let's have a chat about... Um, maybe ordering some stuff. Can you make me something? Sure can. Have a look. Uh, okay, so we do have certain things just listed with Melvin, but uh, you can't get them because they're special items, I suppose. Yeah, like all the Christmas stuff you can't exactly get. Um, I don't know if there's such a thing as a normal, like, parasol, guys. Um, if you guys know, let me know in the comments below because that's sort of the thing that's preventing me from making a swimming pool. As ideally with the swimming pool I would like to actually be able to lay down some towels and some parasols but it doesn't seem like that is something that I'm going to be able to do just with Melvin though. Um, Alright. Well. I think the only thing that I can perhaps get from Melvin is these cabinets or uh, dressers. So the question is, which ones do I want? Maybe the Nordic one. So let's order that. Uh, we'll receive it in the mail tomorrow. Fine. Um, and I'm sort of thinking about Getting like some tables, like small tables, that one, and yeah, some bedside tables wouldn't be bad either. Do we have any Nordic style bedside tables? Got a 
a Nordic coffee table and a bedside table. All right, cool. Um, I think for the moment that should be fine. We could get some like bookshelves and stuff like that, potentially. But let's just hold off for the moment and see how the space looks like with all the stuff that we've already got. Um, maybe an alarm clock. Yeah, I'm just sort of like spending all of my money right now, going on a bit of a spending spree. We still have two mil. That's nice. Um, but yeah. Um, unfortunately no parasols or anything like that. Um, I wonder if there's a, a better way to try and unlock stuff, like good things to use. Okay, we've never seen a minimalist seat before. We'll take that with us. A red nose. No, never seen that. Um, plenty of things here that we could potentially sell. Uh, Soho shirt. Um, I'm guessing this is probably one of the YouTuber t-shirts. Um, yeah, it looks like a gamepad or something like that with a hand. So, there you go. I don't really know uh, Soho the YouTuber, so <laughs> to me, um, probably don't really need the shirt, with all due respect, obviously. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to leave it there. I think everything else we sort of have. A dark wooden single bed. I don't think we've ever seen one of those. An eastern wardrobe. Um, I don't know if it will be good with the stuff or the decor that we've chosen for the holiday home, but um, for the sake of having it unlock at Melvin's, uh, I'm, I'm sort of just bringing all of that with us and Maybe I should drop some of this stuff off back here and that way we can sort of at least unlock it uh, from Melvin's place uh, or sorry at Melvin's place. Anyway, um, we we did see rain in Melvin's shop and I immediately realized it is a Friday uh, and she doesn't open her shop anyway on the Friday so we're gonna have to come back for seeds on another day. Uh, just moving the heli around this side. Getting ourselves ready to receive Ed the Sixth. Oh, that's a baby chook. She's a cutie, right? If you've got a good home for her, she's all yours for 5,000 dink. Sure. Alright, so... Yeah. Unfortunately, numbers are still not a thing. Uh... I mean, that that's okay, right? Add the six. 5,000 dinks. This is so great. I've popped Ed the sixth in this animal box. Please take her to her new home and release her. I'm gonna be... Uh, sorry, I'm gonna miss her. Uh, but that's okay, dude. You can always come and visit. She'll be there laying our small eggs for us. All right, there we go. Let's get a move on. Uh, actually, uh, we do need to check on the printer. Our okay, printer is still chugging away. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to think about other th stuff to do. We do have the jackaroo that needs hunting. I think we uh, can afford to spend some time doing that right now. Um, so let's get to it. So, Ed the Sixth. There you go. Brand new home for you. Alright. And, uh, just so that we don't have to keep carrying the paint, let's quickly paint our ute. Bright blue. Very nice. I like it. And, uh, yeah, we haven't actually gotten the fertilizer on the go just yet, so... <laughs> Uh, I better not forget to do that. I think I saw some Vombat Poo over here. Let's actually just grab that and that should be enough for what we need to make. Uh, and yes, uh, almost forgot, but there's also Cherry Road 
to harvest. So let's actually do that right now. Alright, good stuff. Uh, I always seem to miss one or two trees, so I'm just like double backing and making sure that we've gotten all of the cherry trees. Alright, so uh, from here, let's go out and see if we can find that troublesome uh, jackaroo. We'll hunt it, then we'll be done with that. We can turn it back into, I think it's Milburn. And then as soon as we're done with that, we should be able to just grab the printer and work on Blue Ruru. Just inspecting the farm over here. Um, sugarcane is still... Oh, actually no, the sugarcane is ready as well, so... Uh, hopefully we'll be able to see rain about getting sugarcane seeds tomorrow. Luckily we were sort of heading in the right direction there, so... Let's get to it. Oh yes, and uh, we're missing a bridge here. We do actually have the bridge on hand, conveniently. So, let's actually fix that problem. Goodness me. Let's see if it likes a taste of its own medicine here. Yes. Nice. Uh, will this give us a little bit more HP? Yes, it will. Let's actually have some cherries for once. Alright. Um, let's get a bridge down right now. Nice. And... Yeah, it doesn't look like we need um, any like steps or anything like that, so that's good. Probably fixed the step problem already several episodes ago. Um, next up, I think we should just head back, go see Milburn, turn in this quest, and uh, yeah, pick up the soil printer and do the, the work that we need to desperately do before the series ends. Now one thing that I'm sort of still thinking about guys is whether or not I want to spend some time uh, replacing some of these bridges with the wider versions of the bridges because uh, that might be quite nice and you know it should actually help us travel around a little bit more when we're on the bike. Um, but I don't know. I don't know about doing it for like all of the bridges because that might be a little bit too excessive. Had I known that we would uh, see wider bridges in the future, perhaps maybe I would have, uh, you know, placed down wider bridges from the beginning uh, instead of, you know, having the, the type of bridges that we're currently using, which is only two tiles wide. Um, but yeah, I guess it, it is what it is. Still a lot of the day left, right Blue? Uh, I did that thing for you mate. 
Thank you for taking care of the alpha jackaroo. Those alpha creatures are really dangerous and can cause a lot of havoc. Here, take 18,000 as promised. Thanks for keeping Wee and safe for everyone, Blue. Cool. All right. Now that that's done. Ah, uh, oh yes, we still have the red nose here. I do want to just bring the red nose to the spare house. Um, and, uh... Just leave it there, because the, the spare house is our dumping ground, basically, for stuff that, uh, well, clothes particularly, that we don't really want to wear on the regular, but we still want to keep. Uh, alright, so, I think from here we will go to Blueru, um, and perhaps maybe we should stop at the spare house on the way. Okay, there's just grass seeds in there. That's a real shame. <laughs> uh, it is the 13th of spring right now, so there's still plenty of time to try and take some nice pictures during the springtime. Uh, obviously with the overlooks done, uh, I should be thinking about doing that sometime very soon. Uh, need, need to just, you know, make sure that it's a r uh, sorry, I was, I was gonna say rainy day, exactly the opposite is what I want. <laughs> we, we need to make sure that it's a nice and clear day, uh, instead of a rainy day because, uh, we want as much visibility as we can possibly get. Okay. Not worthwhile. Let's chuck that down. Alright, worm farms don't seem to be ready just yet. Um, Alright, well since we're here, as I said, let's drop the... Uh, the red nose here. Uh, I wonder if there's actually a full-on, like, clown outfit. I haven't seen that. You know, maybe there's a clown afro or clown... Uh, I don't know, clown gear, perhaps. Or is the red nose part of the Christmas stuff, like the Christmas update? As in, like, Rudolph the red Nose reindeer. Um, anyway. blue Let's go. Is that what Blueru looks like from the map? Kind of strange. <laughs> Perhaps maybe it's because like the the terrain is a lot higher. Maybe that's why. Anyway, here we are. Uh, the only sort of thing with Blueru is because the um, because we're not covering it in stone, various animals are able to actually traverse and actually climb it. Which, I mean, I suppose it's okay. I don't mind. It just sort of looks weird because I think the real Uluru, it would be very, very difficult to climb up. If I'm not mistaken. Look, I'm not an expert on it or anything like that, so...
Okay, how are we looking here? Not bad. Um, I think we could do with maybe making the edges less sharp on some of these bigger shapes, like so. I think that'll look a little bit better. Yeah. Um, and things somehow are looking a little bit flat on this side. Maybe it's just because of the color and how dark it is here right now, so... I think we're getting there, guys. We're getting very, very close to completing this, I feel. I was uh, wondering what was making that buzzing noise. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I've seen that dragonfly before. I don't exactly have our insect book with us, but... Ah, speaking of insects, I, I better check the calendar to see when the uh, bug catching comp is, because uh, it is coming around very, very soon. I just want to make sure that we're preparing the night before so that we can have a, a chance at winning first prize unlike uh, <laughs> unlike our efforts last time uh, I think the bar is set very very low right now for the insect catching comp so I think if we can even do a tiny bit better than the previous episode we will have no trouble Okay, that's our soil printer done for the day. Um, is this looking all right? I think it's getting very, very close. Um, I feel like I want to expand a tiny little bit of this side just to sort of make it a little bit more vertical on this side um, we always check it from that side but I haven't really looked at the shape on this side yeah okay cool we, we just need to sort of fix up the shape um, on, on this side of the uh, can we call it a mountain I suppose it is a mountain isn't it but anyway 
Um, the other thing is, as I said, these trees here uh, seem to be a little bit of a d distraction or a detractor uh, from the view, especially from the other side. So I'm going to get rid of these trees. Um, and I think we can afford to not have to replant these trees, to be honest. So I think I'm okay with that. Uh, as for the grass and all that sort of stuff, yeah, we can leave that here. I don't think there's a, a reason for us to remove it. Um, since I think most of the pictures that we're going to take uh, of Blue Ruru will be probably from this side anyway. But uh, those trees having gone uh, make this look a little bit nicer. So hopefully when the sun sets and all that sort of stuff we might be able to get like some really really nice colors here. Um, a few things we do probably want to decorate with maybe a rock or two. Uh, maybe some spinifex tufts as well, just to sort of uh, plant here. In instead of like flowers or anything like that, I think the spinifex tufts are going to suit the environment a little bit more. Um, it is kind of flat on the top, but I don't mind it being very flat on the top because uh, I think if there's any other sort of shapes on the top, it might detract from the look as well. So anyway, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on there. We mustn't forget to drop the soil printer uh, into the charger tonight. That way we should be able to, you know, continue working tomorrow anytime we want. Uh, but I think now we should focus on trying to get some more of those keys. We already found one additional key uh, which means that we're at, I would say, maybe 19 keys or so. So that's not bad. I mean, we could essentially go into the undergrowth with 19 keys. Um, but obviously having a few more might not be a bad idea as well. So let's keep going. And uh, yeah, this is going to be really the, the last activity that we get done for the day. Uh, I'm just looking at our food situation. Yeah, okay, so we do have some Kwandongs that should keep us going. Uh, let's just put these things in its place. That way we can sort of keep a track of uh, how many keys that we're actually getting. Okay, that that's the extra key that we needed. So there you go. Um, should we go into the undergrowth tomorrow? Good question. Um, I guess we can. Uh, perhaps maybe we're gonna have a bit more of a busier day tomorrow where, you know, we grab the soil printer in the morning, we immediately go, uh, off to Blueru to do some work, and then, uh, before, uh, I guess midday, we should come back and go into the mines. Maybe that could be the plan. But uh, anyway, for now, let's just focus up on trying to find as many more of these keys as possible, or the um, discs as well. Don't mind a good disc or two. Nice, another old key there. Uh, I think in total this episode we've found, what, five keys already? So 
a, a decent day, a generous day. Now, uh, my only hope is that the game will be as generous uh, as it is today when we actually go into the deep mines tomorrow. <laughs> so uh, hopefully we'll find all those Baconium ores. Uh, I can't remember how many more we need. I think we only found four the other day. So technically we might need another six or so ores um, before we'll be able to actually craft one blast furnace. A river reed seed. Hey, there you go. I think several episodes ago, I sort of thought, um, you know, it'd be nice if you could actually uh, a harvest these uh, these seaweeds uh, and use it for something, or uh, secondly, be able to plant them yourself. Um, I feel like this is new. Although I could be wrong, so uh, again, probably something that you guys can let me know in the comments. Has has this always been around, the River Reed Seed, or uh, is this something that's been introduced recently? But uh, anyway. Regardless of that though, I mean, it, I don't think it's that important, right? Like, uh, I don't really need River Seeds in my life or river reeds in my life. Unless, unless I want to decorate uh, the waters near the, the holiday home with them. Anyway. Nice, there we go. All right, uh, I think we've probably spent enough time looking for keys. We've got uh, I think this is going to be, what, 23 keys in total now? So we've got plenty. Uh, we should be able to hopefully find a good number of Baconium ores. Uh, and yeah, I think uh, I'm, I'm definitely uh, going to go into the Undergrove tomorrow, guys. So um, as I mentioned uh, in terms of the plan, uh, to you guys before. The idea is for us to um, wake up, do the farming obviously because I don't like leaving that unattended to, but uh, we'll go and pick up the soil printer first thing after farming. We'll then work on Blue Roo for a little bit and then after that uh, we'll try and head into the deep mines uh, hopefully by 12 o'clock uh, midday or you know maybe even one o'clock midday uh, and that'll give us a sufficient amount of time I think to work on finding some baconium everyone's just finished up at the tucker box right there um, I do think that there's probably going to be a little bit of work to be done here at the workshop tomorrow morning as well, like with the quarries being ready and all that sort of stuff as well, so um, yeah, I mean, we'll try and get as much of it done as possible. Uh, drop all of that there, blackwood seeds, I think we can just leave this. Uh, antlers, 
I uh, think we're looking good. These chests, I technically wanted to bring these chests to the uh, holiday home, but I suppose we can just leave the chests here uh, for now. So that's fine. Keys, yep, we'll just chuck the keys there. Sorry, we only have 22 keys, not 23. Um, yeah, before we forget, let's drop our soil printer in here. And, uh, yeah, I think we're going to be sort of ready for this, uh, this journey tomorrow into the deep mines. I'm just looking at our foods. We definitely have enough brews, uh, so that's looking good. Um, yeah, we just need to go ahead and do it. Um, we could maybe plop our diving helmet away right now. Uh, might not be a bad idea. There we go. Moving a little bit slowly here, let's just consume some raw wheat. I do want to check on the calendar. Alright, we've got a couple of days actually, so... Um, yeah. So tomorrow we'll go into the mines, and then the next day is the bug catching comp. So. Got a lot to think about tomorrow, because after our trip to the mines, we've got to immediately prepare and make sure the inventory is sort of clear uh, for us to then work on the bug catching comp. So let me just write this down. Uh, so what are we? 221 right now, 222, 223 is going to be bug catching. So hopefully I remember. Uh, but yeah. Hopefully we get some good rewards from the bug catching comp as well. I don't know if there's anything like unique that we can get from the bug catching comp. I assume there might be. So I'm, uh, I'm semi excited about it. Uh, and it's always nice to, you know, have someone new visit the, uh, the town. I wonder if Theo's sister, I forget her name, but I wonder if she would actually move into Wu Yan if we, you know, actually had like a good relationship with her. Who knows? Anyway, guys, I think we did pretty good today. Pretty productive day. Blue Ruru is coming along. It's I think it's almost there. Just a little bit more work. Uh, obviously, there's the color change and all that sort of stuff. We won't do that tomorrow, but... Uh, as soon as we get the shape done, we should be able to then continue with the uh, with the color change and the decorating. But uh, yeah, exciting times. Bug catching comp in a couple of days and tomorrow undergrowth. I hope you guys look forward to it. All right, leave a like, a dislike, or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.